Hello chess friends and welcome to us out of chess channel and welcome to an amazing game that I prepared for you today. Today we'll see the most powerful chess engine Stoffer 15 battling it out against another top engine Berserk in Fisher Random Chess. And I think this is a cool warm up because today starts the World Fisher Random Chess Championship in, uh, in, in Human Chess of course. Today we'll see uh, Magnus Carlsen, Vasily So, Hikaru Nakamura, all of the uh, top players playing Fisher Random Chess. But when Stockfish is playing uh, Fisher Random Chess it looks really really different because how stockfish performs in this variant of chess it's really remarkable look how uh, much uh, rating points stockfish has already in fisher random chess it's almost 4000 rated in this variant it's just really really remarkable uh i would really love to maybe stockfish to break this barrier of 4000 rating points because i think it will be a symbolic thing that uh, stockfish 15 has sort of a 4000 mark above uh above its name it will be i think really really cool uh in my opinion this is, is going to happen because how stockfish is playing fisher random chess it's really really remarkable because i've sorted out the beautiful game where stockfish destroys its opponent in only 15 moves which is really incredible uh okay uh, the game was prolonged till the move 23 but still uh after 15 moves uh, all its opponent berserk already ran into a forced checkmate sequence so the game was uh pretty much over after 15 moves which is really really wild when you think about it harder okay this is the most powerful engine this is stockfish 15 this is fisher random chess it's of course not uh some common uh chess openings that are uh, that they are playing but still only after 15 moves already it was over for this other uh, berserk engine really really well stuff be prepared this was simply chess from another dimension so let's see now the game stockfish 15 opened here with the move g3 in this particular position in the beginning it's really hard to um, understand what what is going on because in the beginning you're searching i think also for the common strategies like in normal chess in the beginning you're trying to develop your minor pieces you're trying to uh, secure the center you're trying to of course play uh, good in a good way when it comes to central control you want to secure the king by castling you want to improve the position of your minor pieces you want to search of course for uh, opponents weaknesses like a weak square or maybe weak pawn so these are standard stuff even if you're playing this weird position in the beginning but i still you can i still think you can apply the basic principles in chess so here with the move g3 stockfish is saying i will develop my life for bishop and then we maybe with the move e for also this one so it's i think making sense in the beginning what stockfish is doing so knight to c6 you see we have now the move e4 advancing the pawn and this is also perfectly fine because this pawn is supported by the rook and we are threatening to get get some space advantages here maybe with the move e5 so that's why e5 here was played by berserk we have knight to c3 knight to b6 and after knight to d3 you see stockfish plays uh, now with the knights towards the center is controlling now the center with both of these knights and is trying to of course also now play f4 develop at least the dark square bishop so in the continuation we have now queenside castling f4 f6 here berserk cements also the center supports also for the, the pawn on e5 and now the fun already starts stockfish launches a flank attack immediately a4 here of course it's natural when you think about it harder because this knight on b6 is really unnatural there so you can use many times this kind of stuff in order to expand further using uh, your space advantage here using maybe an extra tempo against the knight and then even further attack the position with the move a6 so that's why here in the continuation knight to c4 was played by berserk uh, berserk is saying okay i have a good control now of the a5 square but you can guess what stockfish is doing stockfish plays now a5 anyway advances the pawn sacrifices now a pawn just in order to open the game just in order to spice up here the tactical battle so we have here knight to a5 we have now b4 by uh stalker 15 if you take now bishop to b4 this wasn't played in the game but you could run into a trap because after knight to b4 knight to b4 look at this now suddenly the knight is not controlling the a5 square anymore and the knight would be hanging so that's why after move b4 you have to play now knight to c4 stockfish plays now bishop to a7 uh is giving uh, getting now now pawn and you see now the rook is coming very active into the game in the continuation we have now b6 played by berserk uh this is temporarily locking now uh the dashwood bishop but it has also a certain positional problem 
uh, this move b6 opens a little bit also here the position on light course in front of uh, in front of the king so okay some of the uh, some of these moves would be possible in a different uh, way but now in my opinion you have too many structural weaknesses in front of the king and a powerful engine like stockfish 15 will of course exploit these weaknesses uh, for sure so after move b6 now stockfish continues the pressure knight to d5 and if you take here this wasn't again played in the game but if you take here um, the knight on d5 as we said you have already weakened a little bit your light course here and you don't want to give up your key protector of light scores which is of course the light score bishop now in the continuation e takes d5 okay you can take out now the bishop but now we play rook to a7 you maybe kick away the rook but we just step back and okay nothing special maybe in the beginning now but i would not really not love to play uh, this game from black's perspective we can always play something like d6 maybe in the lower checkmate here on a8 uh, this bishop is coming really, really in a powerful way here in into the game so in my opinion this is not something that you want to do so that's why the knight stays here a little bit longer in the center so bishop to d5 is not possible so we have here knight to a7 by berserk and i think 99 of uh, percent of every player would play now the move rook takes a7 but not stockfish 15 stockfish continues the pressure and plays now knight to c5 discoverly attacking here now the uh, knight on c4 and you see now this is already a powerful position the pieces are dancing the king is endangered and in my opinion this setup of blacks is not good that's i think the downside about this fisher random setup in the beginning the queen is a little bit out of game the bishop is out of game it's simply too passive meanwhile i think the knights of whites are really really active here so you have to now make a decision in the continuation we have now b takes c5 so uh, berserk accepts the challenge takes out also the knight we have bishop to c4 and now king to b7 simply protecting now the knight on a7 so let's see if you play something like knight to c6 instead of king to b7 if you're trying to get the knight into the game this wouldn't be possible because we just simply play queen to f1 and now you see we have several life for problems the bishop is coming into the game the queen will follow up here on b5 then you could run into a checkmate pattern or something so you would be forced in this scenario to play the move d6 liberating some escape routes for the king but actually this is not working because bishop to b5 anyway you have to play king to d7 protect your knight and now uh, we have even this opportunity rook to h7 would come really in a beautiful way into the game now you have to play rook to c8 protecting your opponent c7 this wasn't played in the game but look how devastating this attack would be for black rook to c8 now we just take bishop to c6 king to c6 the queen is coming into the game we can even sacrifice here look at this we just run into uh again force tack the checkmate sequence so the game is over so this is the problem of this position you cannot play knight to c6 you cannot escape with this knight so that's why you have to play king to b7 but now the king is kind of overloaded uh, the king is stuck to the defense of uh, the knight on a7 and actually the king is getting in front of the queen it's not of course directly uh, attacking the king but if something gets cleared on this diagonal then the king could be endangered for sure so after move king to b7 queen to f1 so still stockfish continues the pressure on light squares we have c takes b4 we have bishop to a6 king to b8 and now the queen is coming into the game attacks now simply the pawn on the c7 and from this point on it's a one-way ticket basically black cannot anymore defend this position so we have now the move c5 by uh uh, berserk and we are now in move 15 and this is now a forced checkmate sequence so basically black cannot protect anymore this position whatever black does uh white is winning for sure so really really well stuff maybe instead of this move c5 you could play rook to c8 protecting your opponent c7 but actually it's not getting better because you get this one look at this bishop to b7 sacrificing the piece you could maybe try this one bishop to e, uh, d5 we just take and maybe after c5 you're trying to prolong the game but now look at this we can even play king to e2 this would be really a beautiful game even if the game would have been continued like this now you just play something like rook to c7 but now look at this we're uh, sacrificing the rook now this rook comes into the game we just deliver a check and now after move c4 you can maybe take on some but what now with queen to b3 this would be also a beautiful beautiful checkmate so you're so vulnerable in life worse that basically you cannot defend this position so even after move rook to c8 
uh, this position is messed up for black uh, although it would be maybe uh, prolonging the game a little bit for for black but still this is devastating so after move queen to c4 uh, here we have said c5 was played by um, this engine berserk but again this motif bishop to b7 followed up with queen to a6 so we're liberating now a square for the queen in order to create this uh, very enormous pressure on the a file so after move bishop to b7 bishop to d5 uh, we have bishop to d5 let's see what happens again if you play king to b7 this is not possible the queen is coming into the game we play a check and now with knight to b6 you would uh, get this beautiful checkmate with the knight so this is not possible so as we said bishop to d5 was played bishop to d5 we have queen to g8 you see these are now moves that are just prolonged the game we're now in move 17 but this doesn't make sense you just prolong the game it's not changing the outcome in 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 any way so here stockfish is not even interested to take out the queen play simply queen to a6 continues with the plan to deliver checkmate here uh with this battery queen to c7 we have a check king to d6 rook to a6 you have to now escape here on e7 now finally stockfish uh, takes out the queen but as i said it's not the point to take out the queen it's just the point to creating some squares that you can attack further uh, in the continuation we have rook to c8 we have uh, f takes e5 and now c4 by uh, this engine berserk if you play f takes e5 here actually there is a cool move that you can play you can even kingside castle you know when you castle in fish random chest in this way you can even castle and then you're threatening even some ideas of rook to f7 this would be also a nice continuation but after move f takes e5 here c4 was played by berserk rook to d6 attacking now the pawn on d7 we have rook to c7 again just prolonging the game and actually in this position berserk resigns so really really wild stuff only after 50 moves let's go back after move c5 here it was already a forced checkmate sequence as i said in the beginning okay this is fisher random chess okay you're playing against the most powerful chess engine but still how stockfish is destroying this other top engine it's really wild uh stockfish won basically every tournament now that has been played the fisher random chess uh, tournament the the computer bullet chess championship the tc easy competitions the rapid chess championship the classical time format chess championship and also in this variant stockfish is basically unbeatable there are also cool games in which stockfish destroyed really top engines with the black pieces it finished fish a random chest uh maybe i'll i'll cover a couple of two um the um uh, games so in, in 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 this variant where stockfish is destroying its other uh, top engines with the black pieces there are really cool games please check out this beautiful chess website ccrchessdom.com uh, it will be uh, the first thing that you see in the description below it's an incredible incredible website where you can have so many opportunities so uh, i think this game is really cool as a warm-up for the forthcoming world fisher random chess championship it will be incredible uh, we'll see i think the derby vastly so versus Magnus Carlsen this will be also cool but as a warm-up I think this is a pretty cool game played by the fish so okay I hope that you enjoyed the game I really enjoyed it a lot the interesting ideas of the chess 96 for sure if you want to see more about this chess variant uh, here are some games that we have covered before and if you want to see maybe some other top engine games that have been played recently by stock 15 and some other top engine uh, so you, you can also check out our commented chess games played by computer series here's the link and if you'd like to content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course